Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Vote Talks, making a monster quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go through the steps of how to make a monster quiz. I'm actually making one for my Algebra 2 class, uh, solving um, absolute value equations. I want to just get them engaged in, in solving some equations and answering some questions about absolute value. So uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and look at how we do this. Well, first of all, Go to Lumio. Um, that's available on, of course, the um, link dot, the class link um, thing. You'll get to your library here. Sorry, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click New because I want to create a new uh, monster quiz. So clicking New, and if you come down here to, um, sorry, game based activities you will find monster quiz click on monster quiz ladies and gentlemen and um, it'll open it up it'll ask you to select the type I'm gonna do a true and false first because well, first I just want to get the kids engaged um, so I'm gonna ask a question um, can an absolute value equal a uh, negative number I'll just ask him a question like this and of course I'm gonna select that the answer is false because an absolute value cannot equal a negative number there's no solution if it does so I'll go ahead and select false add another question um, so here's my second question. Second question I want to make is a That's multiple choice. Oh my goodness. I want to, sorry, Siri went off. Um, I'm gonna I, I do a multiple choice and this time I'm gonna go ahead and put the absolute value of X um, plus five and, oops, sorry. That is going to equal, let's put uh, eight. Okay, again, start with a very simple baseline problem. Uh, let's see, I want to make the answer, <clears throat> let's make the answer uh, negative 8 and positive 8. Let's make the answer uh, negative 5 and positive 5. And the third one, let's see, um, the actual answer would be... Um, negative 13 and 3. So that should be negative 13 and 3, sorry. Okay, that's not making a negative for me, so that's kind of weird. Negative, yeah, negative 13 and 3. And 3 and negative 13. Oh, sorry, that's the same answer, so. Um, Negative 3 and 13 is what I want to do. So, of course, this is the correct answer here. And so, of course, students would have scratch paper to do their work. And then, for the purpose of this video, let's say that this is my quiz, uh, this is my monster quiz. I would hit next. Um, I can select random question order if I wanted the kids to have random, uh, or if I wanted to put it in the same order. Time limit on questions, 15 seconds. I usually, I will take the time limit off, uh, especially since some of the questions are super easy. They can finish in a couple of seconds, but then some of the questions are gonna be difficult and will take, you know, more than more than, uh, more than than two minutes to solve. I want the kids to work at their own pace. And then click next and um, I can, I'm going to choose the Halloween uh, version since it's Halloween time and select finish. When I do this, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be adding my activity to my library that I will have access to so that when uh, my students put in um, my code, it will, um, I can start this and form groups and everything. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and title this, though. I want to title it uh, Solving 
absolute value equation, absolute value equation. And I use the, I usually abbreviate everything, so I'm gonna put abs value. Abs value equations. There you go. And I'm even gonna abbreviate the solving. <laughs> solving. Solving abs that equations. Okay, and it's saving this to the the cloud. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You've created a monster quiz, and um, I hope this was informative and helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I can be reached via email, text, or follow me on social media. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> the grind is real.